What's up guys and welcome back to F1 2020. Welcome to the Cooper Motors HQ. We are back for another fantastic week of racing. It looks like uh, this weekend we are going to be heading to the Dutch Grand Prix, which should be pretty exciting. But obviously we've got a lot to do and a lot to uh, lot to take care of before then. So let's take a look at our, our schedule for the week. Looks like we have quite a few days we can work on. Uh, let, me, let me see what we're doing here. So we've got a chassis department focus. G-Force training is gonna help the racecraft of our second driver. Bonus to our powertrain team without taking away from anyone else, that's good. Sponsor advertisement is gonna give us some team acclaim and cash, and then power equipment upgrade is, uh, is gonna give us some resource points and plus 5% to department morale. So I'm going to say with these first four days, let's let's go for the sponsor. Then we're going to have a press interview. Then I'm going to say, let's let's go. I'm going to say power team building. Ooh, shoot. I kind of want to do the power equipment upgrade. Hmm. I feel like power equipment upgrade is going to be better, but then we're not going to going to be able to fit anything else into the weekend. I mean, it's only going to cost us 5K and it's going to get us the same, the same difference if we do the power team building. We aren't going to get the resource points, which would have been nice, but 30 resource points, I think, is what it was. That's that's not big of a deal at all. All right, we're, we're good to go there. Now, we do have some R&D we can get into here. We've got about 1,000 points we can work on. Um, what do we want to start working on here? I mean, let me, let me see what our recommended upgrade is. Looks like they want durability. 40% failure chance, 40% failure chance. I mean, I'm not, I'm not against that. Um... We can, we can work on durability. Let's go ahead and develop that. Sounds good to me. Do we have this team? They're currently working on something. Arrow is currently working on something, and then we could potentially work on our powertrain here. We're going to need 1,100 resource points, though, so we're not going to be able to do anything. So we're kind of maxed out on that. We do have $2.4 million, so if we wanted, if we wanted to add, like, where's, what's the thing? Number of simultaneous builds. I think I might get this next. We, we need we need 60 grand, but I think I'm going to get it so we can work on two arrow builds at the same time. I think I think we're really going to focus on arrow to start things off. So let's go in advance time here. I'm going to see what this uh, what this interview is all about. We can go to this press interview. Hopefully be able to give some good answers that keep the team in, in good spirits. And Well, it's great to be back at your headquarters. And I've got to say, an awful lot's changed since we were last here. Let's dive in with some questions. Here we go. Let's talk about your new second driver. How are they settling in? Um, we had the car, but now we have a driver who can really push it. They will make a good wingman for me. Louis is loving the new car. Uh, I, I'm gonna compliment him. I, I feel like he doesn't really push it that hard though. Your second driver seems to be getting much more comfortable with their car. Have you been focusing on their development? Uh, I've really been putting the hours in the simulator. They're making progress, but I think we could push them harder. Investment in your staff is so important in this sport. I'm just going to be honest. I think honesty is the best policy. I think Will he could be doing be going better. for the Constructors' Championship this season or just for points? Uh, if we're lucky, there will be as few podiums. We're going for titles. We're still developing as a team, but we're hoping for plenty of points is an honest, true answer. Would it be safe to say that in terms of team orders, your career comes first in your team? Um, again, let's, let's be real. We've got to consider what's best for the driver's championship. My chances are better. Or there are no team orders here. I'm going to say my chances are better. <laughs> Your acclaim was affected by that. I Our hope that made us more up points fairly consistently. Do you think you'll be able to become a challenge to the top teams in the future? That's our aim. It's going to take time to get there. You can't build a championship winning car overnight. Thanks to our friends at Pacifico, we have the resources to do that now, or we wouldn't be in the sport if we weren't planning on winning. I'm going to say let's thank the sponsor. Your sponsor's giving you a bonus. Well, thanks a lot for inviting us here. It's been fantastic. What kind of a bonus? Did we get 60K out of our out of our thing? Because then we're going to be able to upgrade and we're going to be able to start a new aero, a new aero research project. That's awesome. So we, we gave them a nice little plug there, and they, they hit us with the bonus. Yes, yeah, we have enough money now. That's perfect. All right, so we're going to go into facilities. I'm going to upgrade our fabrication. That's going to be delivered on April 30th. Holy cow, dude. It is just, it is crazy how long this stuff takes to, to do. Actually, that's not that long. That's, that's going to be the day of the race. 27th. 
GeForce Training 29th. It's now the 30th, so that was delivered. So now we're going to be able to go over to R&D. We're going to be able to take a look at Arrow. I'm going to say secondary wing flaps. That's already in development. I mean, I guess I'm, I'm down for secondary wing flaps. All right, that's going to cost us 600. Looks good to me. So yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Corporate, everything is looking good. Looks like level 10. We're going to be able to get our next sponsor. We are not quite there yet. In terms of driver standings and constructor standings, not a lot has changed. Looks like Daniel Ricardo is knocking on our door. So we gotta we gotta beat Daniel Ricardo and Carlos Sainz this time around. Uh, I'm really I'm really hoping we can. Looks like our engines and everything are are looking good. Um, I think we're good to go. This episode I did mix up the setup a little bit, so you guys know Thrustmaster has sponsored my entire like wheel sim setup here, and they sent me the new TLC and pedals which I mentioned back at episode one, but I didn't have them installed back at episode one yet. So I finally got these bad boys installed. I'm pressing the brake right now. Do you guys hear that? Or do you at least not hear that? You don't hear the like creaking on it. So the, the original pedals that I had were kind of like their introductory pedals and they're all right. They're not bad, but they do creak a bit. These are definitely way, way, way nicer. They're built way better, that sort of thing. So uh, we're gonna be able to, to brake and slam on the brakes and stuff without, uh, without making any noise now, which I'm pretty excited about. But dude, this track is crazy. This, this, this is a tough one. There's, there's no doubt about it. This is that same one we did the, uh, the like, whatever you wanna call it, the, the charity event last week. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's definitely an interesting one. I'm, I'm trying to learn it and, and learn to be as, as quick around it as possible. That turn right there is my least favorite turn in the track. Lots of verticality to it, and you just get you get real weird with it. Uh, car really really likes to spin out in that section. We took that a little bit too slow. Could have done better. Dude, the new pedals they they honestly I feel like I'm faster with them. I don't know they 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 seem to have a little bit more pushback, which is great when you're going to stop and, and make quick changes. Ooh. Not our, our best corner there, so let's let's get back on it here. We're gonna be fine. But yeah, this this track is uh, I, I I like it. It's just really intense, dude. It, it's lots of, of verticality, like I said, lots of tight corners, and lots of speed. So it's uh, it's definitely a very technical track, and it's something that I could see us doing either really really well or really poorly on. Oh, that's the wall right there. Got to know the wall a little bit. So yeah, that's, I mean, that's not bad. Let's go ahead and retire from the session here. We're going to, uh, we're going to go move into qualifying. I'm feeling fairly confident. I, I think we really did a good job with our practice this time around. And we'll, we'll see what we can do. Dude, the curbs are honestly gnarly on this track. The really like fat ones that you guys are see are, are a little bit more respectable. But the, the like, the normal curbs, like the ones that were just on our left back there, those things, they, they spin you out in a heartbeat. Or like these guys here, they're so much more aggressive than a, a normal a normal set of curbs. So I really try not to hit them, unless they're the fat ones like you guys just saw. Okay, looks like we're in P3 so far, which is actually really respectable. I will, I will take that if we can stay here somehow. Oh, see what I mean? Those stupid curbs, dude. Last corner here, come on. Don't touch those stinking curbs, dude. We were in P3, we dropped to P8, we're now in P6. Hamilton set the fastest lap, he's on pole with a minute 12. And we're gonna take P6. All right, it's like we've got the Mercs up front, we've got Max Verstappen and then the two Ferraris after that. So let's see what we can do here. Woo! We had a really good start. Okay, we gotta be careful. Oh my goodness, dude, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There is no way we just jumped from P6 to P3. There is no way. Okay, get it together, Trev. Get it together. Focus up. Focus up. Oh my goodness, what is happening right now? Holy cow. Now just keep it together, dude. This is, this is honestly, I think the most technical track we've raced on yet. And I, I'm, I'm kind of freaking out. I don't think we're going to be able to keep up with those mercs, dude. I really don't. So we just got to we just gotta do our thing back here. Thanks, man. I'm, I'm, I'm not nervous at all. I, I'm totally fine. 
Don't don't even think I'm nervous here. Whew. Keep it clean around here. Keep your tires off of those those super steep curbs that will just straight up destroy your car and we are going to make our way around this corner. This is the fastest part of the track. And like we said before, it leads us into pretty much the only passing zone. Now DRS obviously isn't active yet. So I would imagine we're, we're here pretty safe in P3, at least for a couple of laps, bro. What happened? Quite a few people in front of us just kind of dropped the ball. I think Max especially. We kind of got on the inside of Seb and that worked out for us. He had to leave a space, but Max, I don't know what happened to Max on that start. Whew. Dude, this is such an intense track. I kind of love it. Like this, stuff like this just makes me want to get really good so that I can like fly around this and just dominate, you know what I mean? I feel like we, we go pretty well through here, but it, it just, it'd be, it'd be fun to be like truly really good at this. Like top, top tier. Gotta watch out for these giant freaking sausage curbs. Hate these things, bro. We got a, a close lineup behind us. I am a, a bit of a a bit of a stopper here, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm okay with that. That's just a part of it's a part of racing, bro. Who let my slow ass up here? It's y'all's fault. It's not my fault. DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Alright, so DRS is enabled. I'm definitely getting past the next couple of, of laps. There's no doubt about that, but. We're just gonna keep racing and enjoying our, our podium position until then. Dude, we're in P3 right now, suckers. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, you know what I just realized? I told you guys last episode we were gonna start we were gonna start using manual ERS. I still need to figure out my keybinds, but we haven't been using our overtake button. So let let's just let's just go ahead and use this overtake button right now. Let's let's get some extra speed. And we might actually be able to stay ahead of these guys, dude. Turn our overtake off. We just use 50% of our ERS right there, but that's fine. If we're staying ahead of them, and we're staying on, if we're staying on on medium the rest of the track, and we're building it back up, we should be fine, right? We might actually be able to hold these guys off for a bit. Holy cow, dude! What a freaking race! The Mercedes are gone. I don't think there's any chance anyone but Mercedes is winning, which is is kind of my fault, but that's that's how it goes. I'm going to use our overtake button a little bit right there, get a little okay, bit more space. Is seconds. That's fine. I wasn't planning on beating any Mercedes today. Dude, if we're able to just like, I don't know, keep these guys trapped behind us the entire time and we get a P3, I'm going to die. I would actually die. All right, so we're using our, our overtake button here. I'm going to take it off. We're going to save a little bit of ERS. Yeah, as long as we, we hold that a bit and we're able to use that on that straight every time, I can't imagine anybody's ever going to be able to pass us. Ultimately, it might... Is going to be down slightly and showing some minor wear. That's not good. Ultimately, it's... Uh, it's going to be it's gonna be about pit, pit strategy and who's able to win in the pits here. Max wants it. Max wants it, but he can't have it. I'm dangling that carrot in front of him, and then I'm just going to hit that overtake button. That's my zoom zoom button, bro. My Mazda commercial button. That's like those commercials you see where, like, the dad hits the, the hazard light button. Like, let me, let me hit this hazard light button real quick. Let me hit this overtake mode. Let me just, just blast out of here, bro. Team Rocket got a blast. Now, the reason why I wasn't really using ERS up until this point is just because, like, honestly, last year it was a lot. So last year, I think you had five different settings on it, and it was just, like, it was it was kind of tough to use. It really took away from the, the overall uh, experience for, for someone like me. Like, I understand if you're, if you're really good and you totally understand the game inside and out, then I understand where it, it would be a benefit to you. But for me, like, trying to move between modes one, two, three, four, and five and all that stuff... It was, uh, it was, it was just pretty difficult, but this year they toned it down. So you have, you have ERS medium, which is your one setting, which is like what you should be running on pretty much all the time. Then you've got hot lap, which is, is setting three, which is faster. You're using more of your energy. And then you've got off, which is what you use when you want to save. So like we, we kind of talked about that strategy a little bit in yesterday's race. And then you have this overtake button and that setting, you, you just kind of, kind of 
use everything. Like it gives it all the juice. You, you go full beans all the way through and it, it drains your ERS quickly, but it's also the fastest mode the car has. So really it's, it's a little bit easier. Like you use overtake when you're trying to defend like we are here or when you're trying to pass somebody. Hot lap when you're trying to like catch up to somebody or get away from somebody. And then everything else is, is you just kind of leave it in one or drop it down if you're trying to, uh, to save up ERS for a certain reason. So it's, uh, it's much more manageable this year. I got to figure out, We're boxing this lap. sounds good. I got to, I got to figure out my key binds so that it works. It was working in practice, but now it's not working in the, the race. So I'm not sure, uh, if, if those are different settings or what, but I'm going to get that figured out. And then next episode, when we have a track where it's going to be a little bit more useful, unlike this one, then we're, we're really going to dive into it. Now for this strategy, for this race, this is actually going to be kind of nice because you guys can see we've been burning through our ERS a little bit. We're, we're at 66% right now. I could actually probably use overtake mode a little bit right here. Let's get a little extra time, then we're going to turn it off. But we're going to be, we're not going to be using it as much on this straight because we're going to be going into the pits. So we're going to be able to save up some to be able to use once we get out of the pits in future laps. So I'm going to use it a bit here, turn it off. Because we're going to be going this way into the pits. We think you're going to start losing some tire grip around now. We're fine. We're good. We're good to go. So we're in here. We're going to try to go as fast as possible. We were the first one in the pits, just like we were yesterday. Woo! 2.6 seconds. Not our best one. Alright. So we're going to be on the mediums until the end here. And uh, we're, we're going to do our thing. Here we go. Now, obviously, there's, there's going to be no way, like the five-second difference or whatever Mercedes had over us, there is no way we're going to catch up to that. So really, we, we want to we wanna push hard this lap, and we want to see that we come out ahead of Verstappen. Uh, I, I would imagine we probably will. I feel like our pit crew usually does a pretty good job, although 2.6 was not the fastest, uh, the fastest time that we've had. So we'll see what happens, but... If we're able to get through and come out ahead of Verstappen, then we're going to be in great shape. If we don't, then that's all right. We, we fought really hard. If we come out ahead of Verstappen here, I've got a feeling we might we might get a podium this race. All right, I'm going full beans here. Overtake mode is active. Has Verstappen pit yet? Turn it off. Verstappen's in front of us. Oh, we got him though. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my goodness, there's no way. Gap to teammate behind is 9.5 seconds. I mean, there's still 8 laps to go. But this this track is it's you it's pretty much unpassable. I don't understand how you can pass on this track. As long as we save enough ERS to hit overtake mode every time we go down that front stretch, we should be able to we should be able to podium here. Granted, we don't completely colossally mess up anywhere else. Verstappen is uh to the car ahead is 3.8 seconds. He's angry. He is angry for sure. Whew. We'll we'll see what he can do though. Careful around these sausage curbs here. I'm gonna go into overtake mode. Now the thing is, is we we aren't really like unbeatable here because he's got an overtake mode too. So he he might be saving this. Obviously, that's the the only DRS zone on this track. So if he has an overtake mode active and DRS, he's gonna get around us. There's no doubt about that. But I'm I'm just gonna keep employing the same strategy that's worked for us so far. We just, we just got to hang in there. I mean, the, the, the thing is, is this track plays to my strengths because turning is, is, is where I, you know, turning is, is the hardest part of this game. And that's, that's where I falter a bit sometimes, especially as the race goes on, as we start to lose tire wear. The fact that you can't really pass in any of these corners apart from that straight is, is just straight up amazing, dude. Like, I, I can't even imagine how frustrated he is because he, he, I, I'm setting the pace for him. There's nothing, he, he can't race at his pace. He's got to race at the pace that I'm setting. It was a bit of a sketchy, bit of a sketchy thing there, Trev. Just stay, stay on it. All right. 
used up to, to 50% of our, 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 what's it called right there, our ERS, but we kind of got off track and, and dude, we got we to focus on, I got to stop talking so much, I just really got to, I got to focus on what we're doing. But yeah, basically this track is, is the perfect, the perfect murder weapon for me to take down Max Verstappen. One thing I will say though is like, I mean, yeah, we've, we've been kind of blocking Verstappen for a little bit here. Like the Ferraris are leg like legitimately behind us. You know what I mean? Like they, they haven't, they haven't caught up. So we, we are racing really well here. I don't think we're racing Max Verstappen, Red Bull racing level, but uh, we, we are racing pretty quickly. Like we're, we're, we're keeping pace. He's been getting closer. I've got a feeling he's going to try to make a move on one of these, dude. We're going to be very careful. Our ERS is, is dropping a bit too. Virtual safety car, virtual safety car. Reduce speed immediately and keep a positive delta. Drop your speed, our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Now he can't pass me, right? So I, I can do pretty much anything I want here. This might give me a chance to, to build my ERS back up, which is good, we just need more braking. We need to go fast and then brake. Fast and then brake. Fast. I mean, it's gonna let the rest of the pack catch up to us, but if nobody can pass us, nobody can pass us, right? Fast, and then break. There's Kvyat right there. Dude, he is, nobody's come to get him yet. Fast, and then break. Oh. All right, green flag. No more messing about, fellas. Woo We're able to get back up to 78% ERS. We got a couple laps to go. That might uh, that might just seal the deal for us. Honestly, I was getting worried because we were using more and more of our ERS here. I think we're good. I don't think we need to use it here. We need to save it for when he's right up on us. Get low. Don't let him try to pass you on the inside. Just make sure you get low early, Trev. Four to go. Holy cow, dude. Eight seconds. Safe to say we aren't catching Mercedes today. It's all right, though. That's not our, our real our real challenge here. So we're just leading a train of a Red Bull and, and two Ferraris behind us. He's starting to catch up a little bit, I'm not going to lie. It's it's making me nervous. I'm trying to save as, as much ERS as we can. We just want to make sure we don't run out. If we didn't have that overtake button, we would be getting past in a heartbeat. So we just, we just got to hold strong. Three laps remaining. love this track dude this is this is new to the circuit this year correct I, I don't I don't think I've ever raced this before I've honestly really enjoyed it though it is it is just a very intense track lots of speed lots of winding corners oh he's trying to make a move here it's not gonna happen Max I'm sorry Woo! got to be careful of those curbs Trev those things will ruin your day I'm going overtake mode he tried to go around us right there, dude. He is, he's hunting. He's hunting. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. We gotta, we gotta hold this together. Here we go. Accelerate out of this. Get into our overtake mode. Use, use as much boost as possible. That big boost, baby. Oh my goodness, dude. Look how we pulled off on him. All right, stop it so we can conserve. And let's do the same thing two more times. So this section is where he tried to pass us last time, right? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit it and then take it off. Just just hit it, hit a little spurt of it right there. Just just enough to, to take an edge off, you know what I mean? Just to make sure he can't end up getting around us. Whew, he is on us, dude. All right, so we can slow this down, accelerate out of that. Go ahead and hit our button. We only need enough ERS to make it one more lap. All right, so we're probably good there. I'm gonna start start save it up again. Holy cow, dude! I. Woo! <laughs> that actually worked out in our favor. I hit the I hit the stupid sausage curb, and it sent us spinning. But he couldn't get around us, dude. That is that is just the that's that's the theme of today. Trev literally can't be passed. The track doesn't let it happen. I love it. Dude, whatever. I mean, we were we did good enough to qualify to get in this position. Like, I'm I'm not even sad about it. This is a part of racing. This is this is just what you have to deal with. We 
qualified in a good position, had a great start to the race, was able to beat him to that first corner. I mean, it sucks that the rest of the race he would have dominated us, but bro, you should have started better. Probably shouldn't be talking a bunch of crap until we cross this finish line, Trev. Here we go, slow them all down. We're gonna be fine, they aren't gonna be able to get around you here. Last corner, slow it down, accelerate through. We've got the magic speed button activated. And oh my goodness, we did it. Nice work, you did well today. I think the boss will be happy with that one. Funny joke, because I am the boss. We just got our first podium. <laughs> Bro. We worked so hard for that. We've got to get some sort of a bonus for this, right? Like a sponsorship bonus? Shoot, we should have made our, our racing suit look better and match our brand better. Our first podium and we're in this, like, generic red suit. No way, dude. Spray me, Lewis! Spray me, Valtteri! One of you guys! You, you aren't even interacting. Nobody interacted with me. I, I, I'm just, I'm, I don't even know what to say. I, I cannot believe. I, I didn't know what to expect going into that track. I didn't realize it that was, was going to be like that. That was an exciting race from our perspective. Let's have yours. You gained a lot of positions during the race, didn't you? Um, the car, uh, it's great. The car, it's like the car was, was sticking to the track. Aero department's going to notice that. Everything went your way today. It looked like you had a really good strategy for the race. Good, good strategy and a great car for managing tires. Um, I mean, we didn't really manage tires. I'm gonna say team really pulled out all the stops. It's safe to say you're smashing everyone's expectations, isn't it? Uh, F1 is a team sport. We put in an extreme amount of effort. Working on that Things acclaim, close baby. Close between you and your rival. But it looks like you're coming up top, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I'm about, to, I'm about to chat some shit. Carlos is good, but he's not really on my level. <laughs> Appreciate your time. Got him. Look at that, dude. Finished race, finished position, podium finish, penalty free. Uh. So we are, are we on a race to 30? Is that, is that the objective here? We're not really that far ahead of him, to be honest. So we've we've got to be we've got to be careful, but um, not not too bad, dude. Oh my goodness, our team went up to level seven. Looks like we got the bonus from Zainetto for answering a couple of uh, couple of of you know interview questions. We've got to do something notable every weekend to be able to get all of those interview questions. I would say a podium finish is uh, is pretty notable. I I just. If you want me to be honest, I'm kind of blown away. I, I, I cannot believe that just happened.